Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. We are covering the Leave Insert Higher Level 2022 Maths Paper 2, Question 4, and we're on to trigonometry. So let's look at the first question. We have to prove that 10a minus b is equal to this identity here. So it's in your log tables, we use it a lot. So we got to use the other identity rules to prove it, okay? so. Let's look at the two rules which are involved here. We have 10 of a is equal to sine a over cos of a. It's a very straightforward one. And then we have these expressions down here where we have the difference, okay, of the two angles with the sine. And then we're going to have the combination. So let's put all this together and let's see, can we come up with the solution? So first of all, we can look at the 10a minus b and we're going to use the first rule over here with the sine over cos. So we're replacing the internal angle with a minus b. So 10 of a minus b will be equal to sine of a minus b or you guessed it, cos of a minus b. All right, so this sets it up nicely because we can use the other rules over here now, the other identity rules, we do the sine up above and the cos down below. So we're going to go sine of a minus b is equal to sine of a by cos of b minus cos a sine b. And below then you can see we have cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b and then we have plus sine a sine b so it looks more complicated now than ever but there's only one main thing we got to do now and we if we look up we can see there's a one here you see so how do we get that one well if we divide cos a cos b Okay, by by if by cos a cos b we can get the one. So to do that we gotta do it for everything, okay? And it should work out then. So let's carry that out and let's see what happens. So we're going to go um draw your fraction line and as I was saying, we're going to divide everything by this because we want to get a one, you see. We want to get a one there. So let's work on that. So up above, we're going to get sine A cos B minus cos A sine B all over cos A cos B all over on the right hand side cos A cos B. And down below cos A cos B divided by cos a cos b and we're going to get a 1 for that combination so that's working out a plus over here and you see we have this one we want to get this one so we have sine a sine b and again divide by cos a cos b okay so just remember that step and then we're going to divide everything in so we're going to cancel out the classes and the signs okay so over here now we're going to get a one okay over here okay up here now we're going to get a cancellation of the cos b's and then over here we have a cancellation of the cos a's and on the far side we have a cancellation um Of, we don't have a cancellation there, but it will still work out because we get 10a, 10b. Okay, so that works out. So let's look, let's, re, let's do the next line. So up here now we have sine a, sine a cos a. And um, that's a 10a there, you see. And then on the right hand side, we have minus... Um, sine b over cos b okay 
that's the top line and you can see that's actually materializing with what we need up above okay and then down below we have a one and then we have a plus and you see that's going to be sine a sine b okay over cos a cos b so that's 10 a 10 10 b and that's it very neat but a lot of work for a part a but let's see does the next part may be more simple and straightforward so write 10 of 15 degrees in the form of root a minus 1 over root square root of a plus 1 so what we got to do is we got to look at the 15 degrees and we've got to look at like what two angles standard angles will give you a difference of 15 so um we could use 90 and 75 or but 60 and 45 would work really well so let's put all that together so again this is where you get your formulas and log tables page 14. all right so we're going to uh, employ the formula we just uh, after proving but remember 15 degrees okay is the difference of two standard angles so we're going to go with um we're going to go with uh, 60 minus 45. okay as a and b okay just like that all right so let's put it all together so 10 of a minus b is 60 minus 45 and then we're going to get 10 of 60 minus 10 of 45 degrees and then underneath one plus 10 of 60 degrees by the 10 of 45 degrees so let's work those out now so page 13 of your log tables or let's use your calculator so 10 of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 which is perfect it's like the similar to the root a and then 10 of 45 degrees is opposite over adjacent 1 over 1 so it's going to be 1. all right so we have all our values and let's substitute in now the values over here and we have 10 of 60 is root 3 minus 1 10 of 50 so up above uh, we have it correct and then down below we just have to swap them back to front because we're going to get one we write it on the right hand side and then we have 10 of 60 degrees multiplied by the 10 of 45 and that's root 3 by 1 so that will give us the square root of 3 which is comparable to the square root of a so that's a part 2 all right so then in part b now we're going on to working out some trigonometry with a triangle you can see this is an isosceles triangle so you can remember from the junior or third level whenever you have a, a isosceles triangle you've guessed it we draw the line down the center okay and that's going to give us two halves in the base okay we draw a bisector line all right so let's start off with that one and let's see what we get so draw your line down the center here And what does that produce down below? Well, it gives us a right angle triangle. So we can use the trigonometry functions and we're going to be solving for AC there. So we call that the hypotenuse. And then we can call this the adjacent down here. And we can use that triangle now and we can work out our trigonometry. So this side, this side and this side okay that's what we'll focus on all right so let's get all our numbers now so draw just a representative triangle it's going to focus on the numbers so we got to get this number down here so if this so if this is half of 45 degrees then it will be 22.5 okay and then this angle down here that will be um the well if this is 90 
the sum of the other two angles is 90 so we're going to get 90 minus 22.5 so this is really straightforward and that angle is going to give a result of 67.5 degrees so let's look at uh, our function so write out Sokatoa maybe so what two sides are relevant well it's going to be the adjacent and hypotenuse so we'll choose co cosine so we can just write very straightforward now cos of a is equal to a over h adjacent or hypotenuse okay so the adjacent is going to be half of a b so half of a b and that will be 5 by the square root of 2 minus the square root of 2 all right so let's put it all together and let's work it out so we've just got to interchange the heat the hypotenuse and the cos of a so we're going to do a swap here okay so we're going to swap those just to get the so we're going to go hypotenuse is equal to ac which is equal to the adjacent 5 by the square root of 2 minus the square root of 2 inside all over the cos of 67.5 degrees so set your calculator to degrees and let's work out the fraction and you can see the final result will be 10. all right so a nice question there to finish off so that's the trigonometry question four of the 2022 higher level so thank you for watching maths plus and keep an eye out for the next video